Hello guys, welcome back to my Node Red tutorials. In this tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to integrate Node Red with ReactJS and create a beautiful table using ReactJS. Okay, without wasting time, let's get started. First of all, we are going to create a Node Red flow where I will get the data from the MySQL database. This database will have uh, some sensor values which I will get from the database using node red and pass it this API as a REST API to the ReactJS application. So as you can see here we have a database MySQL in this we have a table sensor values so in this we have stored some values here so as you can see in the browser when I open this you can see few of the data coming from the database so this data I will be showing using react.js ok so as you can see I have created a table here so I will be basically showing you how to create this I will be implementing search method delete options input data okay so this video will be divided into two sections the part one and part two now coming to uh, the react part so here is my noted application so react js application setup so here comes my coding sections so here i'll be creating my table as a component and writing my code so if you are a bit aware about the react.js so this will be a very much easy for you to understand so first of all i'll be using material.js as a framework to integrate or create a table okay first of all i need to create a text field so text field basically takes the search things so when you input the search items or search term so it will fetch the data for you and provide the table which will be matching the key okay so here comes my on change functions where i'm going to uh, enter the or clear trick the functions or trigger the function when i enter the value okay now i'll be creating a table as well so here you can see i need to integrate this my table component in react app before that i need to export here so i'm exporting it so i'm importing in app.js so when you see the browser it will be displaying for you now i need to create a const okay so this use state will hold up the data so here you can see the search box i have created now i'll be going to create a table for you so material ui have a table a structure standard so i'm going to use that so this code I will, everything will be provided in the description you can go and download it no need to create from the scratch so this is my table header ready now so i need to create a table body as well as you can see the table header has been ready in the browser now calling api because i need to get the data from the database using node red api so i'll be calling that now so for that i will be using a use effect if you know what is the use effect then that's fine else you can go and study the document of react.js what use effects will do here in the use effect i'll basically calling the fetch data function where i'll be using or calling to get the api data on loop so i'll be using a fetch method to get the data now so this is my get method here get sensor data so i'll be using async await to get the response from there and set the data in one object state okay 
in the catch function i'll be catching the error if any api is not running or any other error related to api then we are going to console the error of that the data which is getting from the api i need to filter it out based on the value i provide in the search box so i'll be writing that function here So whatever the search term will be matching with the table so it will search the data for you and provide the details now i'll be creating a table body so i'll be using the filter rows whatever the data is coming from there and slice it based on the page number so because here i'm creating a pagination so i'll be using that so and first record or a first in the initial table it will be showing you the five records so in each row or each columns it will be like five rows and every time you have to do the paginations so i need to pass that page details as uh, data also so i'll be doing that initial p it will be zero so i am getting zero as initial set here so row per page so i will be showing five rows per page so i will be writing a function for delete also if i click on delete the row should be get deleted Now as you can see the data is coming from the database and renting in the table here perfect now so one more thing was pending is pagination so let me complete that also So I'll be creating a component as a dev. Adding count, okay, counting also. So how many rows per page? I'll be adding that as well. And the page. So I need to one write one handler also. So I'll be writing that here. Where is related to this? Then just comment down. I'll be happy to help you on that. Now I need to call that handler function as well. Okay. Now I'm calling handler change page for per page also and i need to set that row per page you can see that we are seeing the pagination data also the below so you can see the search thing also is working as expected and also the delete functionality so this was the basic things which i show you about rendering the data searching and as well as deleting the data from the table so in the next part i'll be going to show you how we can delete the data from the database permanently also update the things okay so complete current applications i'll be showing using this react.js and node.js if you like this content don't forget to subscribe and part 2 will be uploading very soon 
the code will be provided in the description please go and download and try it out yourself thanks for watching bye